Hey there, welcome back to Cooking with Violet Vixen. We're going to feed our sweet tooth tonight. We'll be doing cookies and cream slice. This is what we need. Check out. We're going to use nearly that many Oreos. If you're lucky, you're going to have one left for yourself. The rest is going to be a slice. How cool. And best thing about this is we're not cooking it in the oven. We're letting it set in here. We're just melting a few bits and pieces. So line this with cling wrap. Grab those ingredients and let's go. Just wait out those Oreos. Enjoy your three biscuits because that's all you got left from that. So what's going in the food processor, 250 grams, was two rows. And the 100 grams that we're putting through the rest of it left us with three. So enjoy. Okay, come in nice and close. All right, so we've got the 150 grams of unsalted butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. And we're going to grab the 250 grams of Oreos chuck them in the food processor. We want these in the fine breadcrumbs. Turn it on at the wall. When they're fine breadcrumbs, then we're going to grab the butter out of the microwave. See what that looks like. Okay. That looks good. In goes that. Chuck that on. Chuck that lid back on and process that a bit more. enough with that. Remove the food processor. We probably need that again later. I don't know. I haven't read my recipe. Oops. Preaching tells you to read your recipe and I haven't read my recipe. Okay. So grab that slice pan which you've lined with clean wrap and grab your handy pink spatula or whatever colour spatula you're into. Okay, chuck this in and we're going to refrigerate this base for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I wish. It's late. 30 minutes. Just so you know how late it is. It's 10 p.m. at night and I am currently starting cooking a dessert. So, yes, I do need to get up early in the morning, but I've pretty much given up cooking in the morning now because it's making me run too late for work. So I'm going to try and cook late at night and then hopefully not run too late for work. Who knows? Alrighty. So when you're fairly happy with how that's looking, that's going in that fridge for half an hour just so that can set. So chuck it in the fridge. Okay, normally at this time I'd say start and wash up or whatever, but as I say, it's getting late. We've got stuff to do, so... Let's get ready for the next step. So remove that um, food processor bowl. I, as I said, I think we need it again later. So maybe just wash that up. Dry it up or let it drain. Okay, this next step's a weird step. We're going to um, simmer some water. Which I've got a little bit of 
shit on the hot plate, and I don't mean that literally, like oil or something, um, smoking like it is. So we're going to put our quarter of a cup in a heap, quarter of a cup of water, a hidden ingredient, in sit it in here. And we just want that to start to boil, and we're going to put the gelatin in. It's going to be a bit smelly though. And we want two teaspoons of gelatin to go in with this. So I'm actually going to start and put the two teaspoons of gelatin in now. Normally I would just actually do hot water, but for some reason the recipe tells me to do it this way. Basically you just want that gelatin to dissolve. The only way to dissolve gelatin is in boiling water. You can't really walk away from this, but uh, if you was able to, then uh, you want to be getting that food mixer ready, not the food processor, the mixer. Alright, we'll come back to this. I'm going to put this off while I go and get the mixer going. So it's sitting in the hot water and it's actually dissolving so let's go back to the other side of the kitchen Woo! alrighty Mr. Food Processors are ready to roll okay what are we chucking in alrighty into this we want that 400 grams of cream cheese little hint, take that bowl off because I'm going to make a big mess otherwise. Alright. In she goes. Chuck that on. Yep, I've turned it on at the wall. Very good. Alright. Also in with this, we want that cream. Three hundred mils. Half the sugar, half the cup, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Grab something and scrape that cup out. Oh, nice. It's probably a good thing. Grab one teaspoon of vanilla. Put that in as well. We're going to leave this mix while we go and tend to that gelatin. See how that's crumbling. Okay, I'm so proud of myself because I left it to its own devices. I'm happy enough with how much that's melted. So be very cautious when you lift that out of that water. But if it's all melted, bring it back over to our mixer. Now, while this is going on, um, empty the contents of that hot water down the drain. 200 grams of white chocolate. This Aldi one's pretty good. You can use whatever you want. Um, I prefer eating chocolate over cooking chocolate when making something that I'm going to share with a lot of people. Otherwise, um, cooking chocolate works just as good. 
which I'm going to use on the top. Anyway, we're going to break this up and we're going to melt this. Quickly dry your saucepan out first. And a tip when melting chocolate, do not use, I repeat, do not use a wooden spoon. Apparently, the timber, if it gets a little bit of moisture in it, can seize up your chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up, sit it back on that hot plate. Okay, and this is going to melt in no time. Now, the rest of those Oreos, we need to break them up. Um, either chuck them in the food processor or um, a Ziploc bag and just crush them. Get a rolling pin, whatever works. Probably since I've washed up the um, food processor and I don't really want to wash it up again, I'm going to go to second choice. I'm just going to smash them with a um, rolling pin in a Ziploc bag. Medium thick block bag. Why not? It's going to save me washing up. Look at that. It's melting. Copper. Alright, let's go smash some Oreos. Okay, so once you're happy with how the um, cream cheese part's gone, put that back on to low and we want this gelatin in with this. Oreos, zip lock bag, in they go. Probably not even going to use a rolling pin. These don't need to be too thinly broken up. So just even doing this works good. You can test how strong your zip lock bag is, I suppose, just by doing this. All right. Check on that chocolate. Good job. Happy enough with that. And the bag didn't break, so 10 out of 10 for those Hercules Ziploc bags. Alright, I'm happy with how this is looking. I'm just waiting on this white chocolate to melt now. The best news is we've got five minutes before the, um, the base is technically ready to come out so in half an hour we've gone from refrigerating a base to getting the rest of it ready to go so we're on a roll here uh, look at us go all right we're going to check on this white chocolate the the good thing about doing it this way is i don't need to let it cool because Technically, it's already cool because I'm not heating it. I'm putting it into a hot pot. All right, I'm happy enough with that white chocolate. So I'm going to put my mixer back on low. And we're just going to fold this in. Oh, white chocolate, how good are you? I am a very big fan of white chocolate. I love milky bar. But, as I say, this one from Aldi is pretty good. No uh, discounter. Well, do discount it, but you know what I mean. Alright. I'm happy enough with that. roughly chop the remaining biscuits and stir them through. So when it says stir them through, this is just so that they're basically in and not mixed in totally. So that means no more, no more mixer. Bye mixer, go to sleep. All right, so eject your beaters. All right. Now, normally at this time, because for some reason this mixer doesn't reach the bottom, 
I always grab not my handy pink spatula because that's having a swim or it's been washed up, one of the two. Figure it out later. Alright, so what I like to do is just reach the bottom. As you can see, I've got some that didn't melt. Not melt, that's the um, cream cheese. So squash it against the sides. There is some cream cheese left over for some reason. They thought 400 grams would be better than 500 grams. And as you know, it's 250 grams per packet. Whether you get the, I used the spreadable one this time. Uh, you can use either or, but the spreadable one's good for using on your sandwiches so, or your wraps, which I've been having lately instead of a sandwich. All right, so it's a little bit lumpy, but gonna get eaten. That should be fine. Ah, time to wake up. All right, if you're happy enough with a few lumps in there, that's just cream cheese. Um, probably get that handheld. Get the mixer onto handheld. Come back mixer. As I say, one regret with this mixer, it does not reach the bottom. And it doesn't like me mucking around with it. All right, chuck it back together. All right, wash my hand. Okay. So we basically don't want to see any lumps in it, okay? There we go. Lucky we didn't put the Oreos in. That's looking better. Look at that. Alright. Now I'm happy with that. Nice and smooth now. Eject your beaters once again. Get your handy white spatula back and your massacred Oreos. Oh my god, it looks like a mix flurry. Yum. Alright, fold. Fold away. If that doesn't look good, then I don't know. I don't know what to say if you don't think that doesn't look good. Fuck. All right, let's go grab that out of the fridge. All right, our big Oreo base is ready. So nothing fancy, but all we're gonna do is chuck this over the top. Spread it lovingly. Oh, wow. Sorry, but we're going to wait till morning till we have this one. We're going to cover it with more cling wrap. And it's going in the fridge overnight. And before we serve it, we're going to melt some dark chocolate and put it over the top. Um, so that's going to be a tomorrow night thing. Probably not as late as I'm doing this now. But. All right, so spread that. Get that cling wrap. All right. We will continue tomorrow with the drizzled dark chocolate. So till then. See you soon. Bye.